Well, okay, come on. I gotta get that big money. Big money. <gasps> oh, shit! What's up, my crazy people? There it is, your boy, Awesome Joe 18, aka Giovanni Huerta. What's up, my boys? So this is a, um, um, this is not Fire Red, because I'm pretty sure you guys already seen the intro. So we are doing Omega Fire Red. Now this is a game that I don't know. I got inspired by Goki Gamer because I saw him playing through his Sapphire series all over again. I know I beat my Sapphire series. I didn't have to take, wait, actually, I take that back. I took two L's, three L's, wait, four L's, but it wasn't part of the Nuzlocke. That doesn't count. But anyways, so he inspired me to play Pokemon again. So I am bringing, God dang it. I hate when this happens because I'd speed it up, but yeah. So he inspired me from his series of Sapphire to play Pokemon again. And it's something that I started this channel with, which was none other than, I think it was Storm Silver, which I... <laughs> If you haven't seen that video, I mean, if, pfft, I mean, if you haven't seen that series, definitely go and check that series out. I'll probably put the card something something over here so you guys could go and watch it because it's a series that and you can see the transition from microphone to microphone. I have something on my microphone. Who's here? Oh my gosh. But anyways, so we are here and doing Fire Red Omega. Um, this is a Dreano hack, just like it was with Storm Silver. Uh. Whew. I am scared because we are doing a chess lock now I'm gonna proceed through everything and talking about this chess lock and everything because this chess lock is gonna be hard It's gonna be hard boys Um, Only because of one specific rule now that rule really just turns the table for this nuzlocke all together uh, Let me just check. I'm recording everything. Yeah, I'm recording everything. I hope I synced it up so in case I didn't next Okay, so let's read this. I haven't actually played this in a long... I actually haven't played Omega Fire Red. I think I have back in the day, but I just didn't take it serious. I thought it was just, you know, it was Fire Red. So I could play it. So I'm going to read a little bit parts of it because I don't remember the, this intro moment or whatever this is. So welcome to Fire Red Omega, an edit of Pokemon Fire Red that incorporates all 386 Pokemon of the third generation. Fire Red Omega has revamped wild Pokemon trainer battles and even added in a new areas there have been many changes overall stuff like level up moves and stats have also been edited in the name of making the usage of different pokemon much easier than previous evolution methods have been edited so that all pokemon can be involved in the game alone you get the national decks early too with the normal pokedex i hope you enjoy the new hopefully challenging fights that await you in the edit if you got it with the patch use the notepad and close with the patch to find out the changes in the edit and new evolutions have fun Dreano. now okay if you guys skipped that i i wouldn't blame you guys if you skipped all through all that but you know it's all it's your choice it's your free will do whatever you want but anyways we're gonna continue with this game and i'm actually gonna speed through this because i feel like everybody has gone through this and i really don't want you guys to go through this even i don't want to go through it so anyways i'm gonna put yes i'm a boy i'm gonna name myself AG is there is there numbers in here is there is there numbers here yes there is AG 18 yeah we're gonna name it that yes 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 I have a rival oh for a second I thought it said Goki but you know what that's who my rival is gonna be he's been my rival since I from when I can remember you know I don't know when this episode is going to be launched. I feel like this is going to be launched before episode 11 of Soul Link. I hope so. I hope to get this episode ready by Saturday and if not Sunday. But I'm recording this on a Friday morning at 2.22 a.m. exactly. So I really just was so hyped. So if you guys love the thumbnail, if you guys love the intro, give this video a thumbs up. Because, I mean, just I, w I wanted the layout and the intro to be done with. I mean, it's not because I was in a rush. I actually wanted to play the game. Now, to play the game, in my mind, I had to have finished everything else. Now, when I tweeted it out, which, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, definitely go and follow me on Twitter. The link in, to my Twitter is in the description below. But anyways. 
yeah, I mentioned that I had finished it, and when I said that, I was like, yes, I could go and record this. Now, I finally have some time, so let me just finish this up, because I cannot multitask for the life of me. I don't know how some YouTubers can even do it, multitask while talking, so and there you go. My rival is Goki. Yes, now we're going to go into the world of Pokemon, the game that I'll probably won't even make it past the second or third episode, which is kind of sad, but... Since Joanna made this game very impossible to beat. So we're going to go and pick our starters. But before we do. Uh, can we pick our starters though? I'm not sure. But anyways. Let's see. You know what? If I can pick up my starters right now. Uh, oh man. Crap. He's not here. Oh wait. Yes. I don't care about you. And blah blah blah. I'll talk about the, the chest lock rules that we're following. So, I'll go brief after the starters. Well, actually, once we get our starters, so let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So, I'm hoping that this take took me only one try because I haven't actually checked if the Pokemon were randomized. But, here's to finding out. So, anyways, uh, actually, before I pick my starters, I'm gonna go over what the chest lock is exactly. So the point of the chest lock is that in chess, if you actually play the game chess, you have 16 pieces. You have eight pawns, and then I think you have one king, one queen, two bishops, two rooks, and two horses. So the way that you play chess applies the same rules into Pokemon. So if you understand chess, then you kind of get the gist of chest lock. Okay, I suck at improv. I really do. I'm winging this episode at least to the point where I am right now. So it's kind of weird. I suck at it and this is my third attempt. Well, actually fourth attempt now. Uh, so let's go real quick over the chest lock rules and what the chest lock is. Which is kind of the same thing, right? I think so. But anyways, so the chest lock is inspired by the board game of chess. Now, the the game, or I, I guess you could say the point of the chest in chess. <laughs> see, see, I can't, I can't talk. But anyways. So, the main objective in the board game chess is to take your opposing player's king. That's that's it. Just that's it. Just take it hostage. Kill it. Kill it. <coughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's the point of chess. Now, that, that inspired the chess lock in this game. Well, in Pokemon, anyways. So, let's head on to one of the basic rules of this chess lock. Um, let's go with the first one. So, rule number one of this chess lock is that I must obey all original Nuzlocke rules that have already been created. Which, if I were to name it from the top of my head, I don't think I'll be able to unless I look at a screen. But I'm gonna try to wing it. But in case I get something wrong, I will display at some point a screenshot of the original Nuzlocke rules that I must follow. But the basic ones from the top of my head is that once I get Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke begins. So right now, the Nuzlocke hasn't begun because I don't have any Pokeballs or Pokemon to even start with. So, that's rule number one. The, the game starts once I have Pokeballs. Now the next one is that whenever I go into a new route, I have one shot. So the first encounter, that's it. If it runs away, that's it. My, my encounter for that route is dead. But I have, depending on the number of Pokeballs, I have that infinite amount of t times to ca go and capture that Pokemon. If I made myself clear. But anyways, I still have the screenshot so it will kind of back me up if I mess up. You know, that's me. Authentic me. Me messing up on everything. But next, I, th I think after that is about dead mons. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the dead mons. Runa, the third one is that whenever a Pokemon dies, I must deposit them into the PC. Call it a death box, so on, so on, or whatever I want to call it. But anyways... Now, the one that I meant to say was up next is that when once I capture a Pokemon on route, I must immediately give them a nickname. So, if you guys want to be part of this chest lock along with me, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to catch anything. I'm going to probably ditch my first encounter. So, you got a shot. You got 15 chances. The first 15 people that I see comment on this video will probably have a... Well, actually, they'll have a chance to be named after one of my mons which is something pretty awesome but yeah so that's 
I think that's it. Those are the four basic rules. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of more that I'm probably forgetting. But anyways, that's enough for that. That's rule number one, obeying the original Nozark rules. So let's go to the next one. So this is my second attempt at explaining rule number two, which is I can only use 16 Pokemon. I can only capture 16 of them throughout the whole entire run through, meaning I could ditch some encounters because I had to play smart on the 60 mons that I decide to capture. Now in a little bit I'll explain about the roles and so and so for each piece because we're following the rules in the original chess game. So in the original chess game, well, we're not following the rules, more like following the number of pieces they use in chess because we have eight pawns, one king, one queen, two bishops, two knights, two rooks, and two pawns. I mean, two rooks and that's it. And if you add that all together, you get 16 pieces. So next up, I'm explaining the roles of each piece in this chess lock. Okay, so the first role of this chess lock is that the king. We're going to start off with the king. And what the key means is that's my starter mod, which I'm going to be choosing my key right now. I have three choices and I choose whatever I want. Now, I can't ditch these because they're my starter. I cannot ditch them. So whatever I grab, it's for keeps. Now, here's the thing, the role with the key. If the king dies, I lose this chest lock altogether. So basically, all my other pieces must defend my king at all costs, meaning I had to take care. I had to take care of my king I cannot get checked I cannot get checked now what I mean by checked is that in the original board game chess if you get checked that means you gotta move your king somewhere else to so you can be safe so that's enough for the king's role now let's go on to the next role so the next role that I'll be talking about is the queen now as for the queen I think it's self-explanatory and in this game it's the same thing it applies it's a female so I, the queen can only be a female mon. Doesn't matter what it is. Can't be legendary. Um, it has to be a female. A female type. So that's kind of sucks. So I can't really say much about the queen. So that's that. So next row. So next we got the bishop. Now the bishop. So this is how the bishop is going to work in this chess lock. It may only have two damaging moves at a time. For example, let's just say I have a Venusaur on the squad. I, I should just make Venusaur my, 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 um, what to call it? My mascot for this channel. It's always green. I love the color green. I love the color blue. And those are my kind of two favorite colors. And you combine them together and you get Venusaur. If you look at the design anyways. It has a little bit of red, but majority is green and blue. So anyways, let's just go on to my example. So if I have Venusaur, I can only have Sludge Bomb and Leaf Storm. Those are the two attacking moves, and I cannot have more than that. Now, the other two moves could be status or whatever, but they just can't be damaging moves. Meaning, um, it doesn't ha it doesn't say anything about secondary effects, so <laughs> I think that would be a little bit too pushiness. So I will not include, I will not include those either. So they can be self-inflicted, but they could have paralysis and whatever. But they can't have like a burn because that damages over time. Whereas Paralyze doesn't. Oh, actually, that doesn't include Poison too. I almost forgot about that. But yeah. So that's that for the Bishop's role in this chess law. Let's go to the next one. So now, next up, we got the Knight. Now, the Knight is a little bit more versatile to the, the Bishop. But not so much to an extent because there's a restriction on the base power of its moves. Because it cannot exceed 60 before step so let's say for example i have a sizzle now don't quote me on this just let's just say that it has bullet punch because that's step right and let's just say bullet punch has 60. now that counts that counts because we're not we're not counting step because if we did include step that'd probably be like 70 or even past 60. so I could have that for that's it. that's a perfect example. Maybe even wing attack was 60, I think. But anyways, you get the point. So that's enough for the bishop's row. So next row. So the next up, the next piece that I'll be talking about is the role of the rook. Now, in my personal opinion, this piece has a lot of, I guess, more capabilities than the other ones that are below the king and the queen because you can have any move at all. 
they can have any type of move. The only catch is that they cannot use moves that have a secondary effect. For example, Flare Blitz. It has a secondary effect of inflicting a burn, or I can use moves that increase my own attack as a secondary effect, or decrease my attack as a secondary effect, or to my opponents, vice versa. So, that's the Rook in a nutshell. So, on to the next piece. Last but not least, we got one of the most coolest pieces of the chest lock is the pawns. Now, the only reason I say that is that the pawn can eventually become either a rook, a knight, a bishop, or a queen. Now, the queen varies because the pawn has to be a female. Now, before I go into more tangents, let me explain the other parts of the pawn, the role of the pawn. It has to be a first stage evolution, meaning, let's just say, um, Pikachu. If I want to give the pawn role to a Pikachu, I can't do that because it's a second stage evolution because Pichu exists in this game. If we're playing um, Pokemon the original red and blue, then I can because Pichu doesn't exist in that game version of the game. But since we're playing Fire Red, Pichu does exist, so I cannot give the pawn role to a Pikachu, sadly enough. But I can give it to Pichu, and that's the only restriction. And that I cannot evolve. If I have a pawn, I cannot evolve it at no given time. Which kind of sucks, doesn't it? It really does, huh? It really does. And this is where so much strategy comes into. Now, going back onto the possibility of the pawn converting to a, either a knight, king, uh, I mean a knight, rook, bishop, or queen varies. Because I have to kill the last mon of an important battle. Now, important battles can vary from the rivals, the gym leaders, maybe the admins, like, um, what's it called? I'm forgetting the admins from the Team Rocky gangs and all that. And I'm, forget I'm probably forgetting somebody else. But yeah, major important battles, those are the ones that if I my pawn w kills the last mon by itself, with no assistance, it has the chance of becoming those four pieces. Now, for it to be a queen, the pawn ha obviously has to be a female. So that's how that logic works. So that's pretty much it for the roles and the rules. I missed two, one rule in particular, and that's that I can only have one of each piece. And what I was trying to explain is that I missed two rules, kind of two rules exactly, and one of them being is that I can only have one of each piece on my team at one time meaning i can have only a king on my team a queen a bishop a knight a rook and a pawn so those are the six mons that i can have on my team i can't have more than the other and you're asking how many I, I don't think i explained myself beforehand but so these are my options i can only have one king one queen choose two bishops two knights two rooks and the last eight are my pawns. So yeah, I had to take care of my choices. So I have 16 different possibilities. Well, technically 15 because I'm going to choose my starter right now. But I have 15 Pokemon to go and capture. Now that's risky. That's risky. I had to play smart because I have only 15 Mons. So I'm really at a restriction. So that means I could skip any Pokemons I want. But I had to be smart on the ones that I quit because... I don't think there's 16 locations throughout this whole entire region. Maybe I'm, I don't remember. But yeah. So that's the rules of the Nuzlocke, well, of the chest lock. And now let's get this episode starting with choosing our starter and doing a little bit of, I don't know, doing something else. So let's go. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. So now we're going to be choosing our starters. I hopefully. I don't have to go through this again because I hope this is randomized. So, our potential king can be... Oh, crap. Could be an Alakid? Okay, it's not an Alakid, so... We could choose a Smeargle? Nah. Nah. What's our second option? A... Hangry? Huh. Nope. Maybe not. Well, okay, come on. I gotta get that big money. Big money. <gasps> oh, shoot! No way! I, I I probably did not give the right reaction, but holy crap! I I I asked for something good, 
and they gave me something good. You know, since this is the Dreano hack, I need all the assistance I can get. And you know what? This is straight fire. Right? No questions asked. I don't. I know I have a history with Hangry, so, but I don't care. This is a Dreano hack, and now this is gonna be a hard ass game to win. I, I'm, I'm already visioning it. I'm probably gonna lose, and I'm hoping I can make it to the second or third episode on this series. I hopefully. This is a Dreano hack, so it's not like a regular fire red playthrough. This is gonna be hard, and I'm gonna claim my Dragonite. Yes. Yes, yes. I reached, I gained it. Yes. Do you want me to give it a nickname? So I have to give it a nickname. And it's a female. Crap. Well, it's a key in either way because I have no control over the gender. But I do have control of the genders of the rest of the pieces. But for this, I don't. So let's see. What should I call Dragonite? What should I call Dragonite? Not sure. But I'll be right back because my voice is dying at the moment. I'm going to go get some water. So, blah. Okay, I'm back. Now, I was scrolling through the soul link comments, which I, I'm i doing that just for the f sole purpose of naming this Dragonite after one of you guys. So, I came upon Metamech. And the only reason I went on searching it is because I did not reply back to his message on episode 6, on episode six of Soul Link Versus. And the question... He asked was how does the Sony versus work now that's a pretty complicated question that I'll I will comment I'll, I'll reply to you on how that works and all but in a nutshell because if I already explained in this video it's it's gonna take me a good while to explain it but in a nutshell it's a combination of a soul link it has all the rules of a soul link and all the rules of verses and I just combined them together the only thing that has a major difference is on the verses because we have our own set of rules, our spinner type of thing, and I'll elaborate more on your comment, Metamech, if I haven't already met mentioned it. But oof. But anyways, so we're gonna call this Meta Mech. And I wonder what my boy has. Meta Mech. Oh crap. Oh, there you go. Meta Mech. No! Meta Mech. Dope username, by the way. I, I thought of Medicham when I read that. But anyways, he got the Smeargle. Wait, I ho I'm i hoping he got the Smeargle. Please, please tell me you got the... Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so this is our first battle of the Fire Red Omega. And I don't think we have Pokeballs, but it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. He has a Smeargle. <laughs> Oh my god, Goki, what's wrong with you, bro? You have a Smeargle? And I have a Dragonite. Oh, for being sweet. You never had a Pokemon battle before. Yes, I have. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, this is pretty OP early game. Rap all the way, but there's no such thing as rap hacks in this version. So, we're gonna twist her up because this is Stab. Whoa. I'm gonna just speed everything up. He's gonna sketch my rap is and oh no, he's gonna sketch me up. But you know what? Just to finish this battle off. Bam. Oh there you go. Bam. Dead. Bam. Bam bam boom. The only problem with Meta Make is that it's gonna take a little bit harder to beat. Which kinda sucks. Actually, can I get my Pokeballs? Okay, let's go. Bam 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 bam. Can I go and catch encounters? Yes. Wait, do I have Pokeballs? Actually, I'm going to look that up right now. No, I don't. I had to go and get the Parasol. But anyways, since we don't have Pokeballs, the chest lock hasn't begun, even though I have Pokemon. Because we're following the original Nuzlocke rules. But anyways. So. I think I'm just going to go give him the Parasol. I might get my first encounter and see if I should add it to the team or not. So let's go. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Ba 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 da 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 Na 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 Ma 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 There's a lot of trash mons here That sucks Hmm Alright Wait, is it in here? No, it's in the bookmark Yeah 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 Blah 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 Let's go Actually 
Oh man, there's so many trash mons here. I really don't want to get anything here. Are you serious? This is a lot of trash mons. Whoa. Yeah, this is a lot of trash mons. I'm just saying that real quick. Hmm. Actually, let me real quick move the options. Fast. Mono button. And I think that's cool. There you go. Just to follow the theme of the layout, that'd be cool. All right. Man, this sucks. Why do my encounters gotta be... They gotta be trash. Oh, man. Trash. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So, I believe he gave us Pokeballs already. Bam, 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 bam. And bam. Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. He's giving us a lot of things. I, I feel like you guys already talked. Whoa. Okay. So, I fixed that. So, apparently my controller just... Just... Just left my... Disconnected from my laptop. So, that kind of sucks. Alright. Let's just hurry this up. Maybe that's why it was lagging. No wonder. Oh, man. The controller was just disconnecting. Okay. Okay, that's why my commentary was a little bit flowing out of hand but anyways i believe we have pokeballs now okay we have five pokeballs we could go ahead whatever we choose so the ch gun so whatever i encounter i have to either decide to once i catch it once i catch it i could assign it a roll and that depends if i want it or not and i could kill it also so our first encounter Bro, yo, I'm catching this. Nah, this, no questions asked. I'm catching this. Thunder, thunder wave, and it has recovered. Oh, you're gonna save me on potions. Okay, we are gonna wrap you. Please don't, wait, why doesn't it have animations? Did I turn it off by accident? Ooh, ooh. Can I twist it? Please don't kill. Ooh. All right. Now I'm gonna wrap it a little bit more. Please don't crit. Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. All right. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. Hopefully I catch it. Okay. So it has no gender, meaning I cannot give it a queen roll. Which kind of sucks, in my own opinion, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it some rap packs. Well, that shit's paralyzed, so that's all I can do. Ugh. Okay. Please get into the ball. I, I feel like I'm gonna wrap it. Oh, man, I really want to get it. Alright, come on. I'm gonna throw the Pokeball. Please get on the ball, my boy Starmie. Or my girl. Oh crap, I have to go. I have to do it. I have to. I have to. I have to. Ooh. 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 Get in the ball. You're at red, my boy. Oh, yes! 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 Oh my god! I got Stormy. Yo, this is too OP now. This is too OP, my boys. Ooh. <laughs> We're starting this chest lock right. We're starting it with power. Okay. So we caught it. Now now that I caught it, that's my second piece. Now I have to choose between a bishop, a knight, a rook, or a pawn. Now for a star me, I feel like the right hmm. Hmm. Actually. Does Psychic have a secondary effect? Hmm. I might actually look that up. Yeah, actually, I might, I might actually have to look that up. That kind of sucks. All right, actually, I'm going to look that up. So, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, I read the move of Psychic because it's one of the most powerful moves it can have. 
And Psychic deals damage and has a 10% chance of lowering the target's special defense by one stage. So sadly, it cannot be what I wanted to be a Rook. But, I'ma give it the position move of a Bishop. It can only have two damaging moves at a time. And, it, and actually, it's pretty good because it already has Recover as one of its other side moves. So, it's official. I am claiming Starmie as one of my Bishops. So, yes, I am so glad. This, this is this is actually starting. This this chest lock is starting out right. If you know you know what I'm saying, it's starting out right. So let me just real quick shut this down, quit it, and let's do this. Alrighty. So blah 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 da 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 da. You know what? Because it has no gender. I could name it whatever I want. And you know what I want? Since this is kind of a spoiler, but Goki Gamer should know this reference. And but I'ma call it under another different name. So Kit Kat is gonna be part of the squad. Now, spoiler, if you do not want to get spoiled as to the reason of it, actually it doesn't matter really. Um definitely you should go and check out the innovation log of Goki Gamer because this is where I'm getting the nickname from. Because he has a pointy cat 2.0, I think. And <laughs> oh man, and the the way that I that series went, it, it's crazy. You should definitely check it out. And if anything, I'll probably have another card here directing you to that video because that video is crazy. That's just I'm just telling you that. Man, that series is crazy. But anyways, we got our girl Kit Kat officially on the squad. Man, could not have been more better. After seeing all those radicates and stuff. Oh my god. And it lived on one. What's your moveset? You're a naive nature. So you're pretty speedy. You're hardy. Sadly. You have inner focus. And you have natural cure. So I couldn't change the abilities. So it's not an extreme lock. Completely. But look at that stat. It's pretty all around. This one's pretty fragile on special defense. But not on defense. You have water gun. Recover swift and rapid spin. So, I have no real, like, since it, since it has the um, placeholder, the role of a bishop, I cannot change it right now. But once it levels up and it knows another move, and it's not, um, what's it call it? Not an attacking move, I could, I'm going to replace it for either swift or rapid spin. But for now, I think I'm going to keep rapid, I mean swift instead of rapid spin. So, yikes. Oh man, but it would be so useful here. I don't know. See, that's a lot of planning. But for right now, I can't do nothing about it. And actually, thinking about that, let let's get rid of that item you have. What what item you have? You have Stardust. I'm gonna go sell that real quick. Anyways, ooh, ooh, that's intimidate. Yikes. Okay, so I know. Man, see. I got lucky on my encounter here. It's like Destiny Kit Kat was supposed to be part of this chess lock along with me. Now all I'm missing is Fireblaze of the original OG squad. Um, jeez. Alright, that's the sign centric, probably, probably not. Anyways, we're gonna go and heal because your boy needs to heal. That's what's up. Bam, bam, bam. And I go need to go more. <laughs> I cannot talk today. So I should end this episode off here because one, I've been recording for like an hour. This is an hour of power. Not really. I'm probably going to reduce it to like 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. I'm, I I just really want this episode to be, it's going to be a longer episode because I'm explaining the rules and everything. But episode two is going to be a much shorter episode because I want these videos to go quick, quick, quick. That's my goal for the series. So I could keep and stay consistent with you guys with the series so let's see how many pokeballs should i get ah oh, no nah, no nah, i should only get five pokeballs i need to buy potions and antidotes uh i need to buy potions and i want to uh, mostly antidotes yes and and I'm going to devote one more antidote because I don't want to die of poison. And the rest are going to be Pokeballs. Wait, actually, no. Two. And 
That's officially all my bo my money. Yikes. Hmm. All right. So, a real quick team recap. Man, this is a great start, by the way. We got two cool mons. We got, man, we got our girl, Kit Kat, because that has no gender. Oh my God, Kit Kat, man. Jeez, man. All these two Pokemons are so amazing. So, we got Kit Kat to star you. I mean, to star me, my bad. And Metamec the Dragonite. Man, this series could not have started any more better than this. Especially since there's a Drayano hack. Woo! Woo! Man, I'm hoping. I mean, he's a fragile boy, Kit Kat, but I got this. Well, fragile girl. But, oh man, I got this. Anyways. I think that wraps up episode one of the Pokemon Fire Red Omega Chestlock. Oh my god, that's a very long name. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think this wraps up episode one of the Pokemon Fire Red Omega Chestlock. Gosh, that is so long. So this is the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite part of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Pokemon Fire Red Omega chess lock content on your way. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and follow my Discord, which I have it down below. Now, I'm gonna revive Discord. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a way to revive it, bring it back so it can have some meaning to it. And oh, the alternatives. Because I really wanna chat with you guys one on one or anything of the kind. I am here to listen to you guys. If you guys have some problems of any type, I really want to reach out because I was watching a video of some issues people were having that they were too scared to speak out, too scared, what I was trying to say. And I just want to know that you guys are not alone. Whatever problems you're facing, you just know that you're not alone. You could talk to me or anybody else that is here on the channel and we're here for you. So I kind of got a little bit emotional there because I was just... Man, a lot. I watched a couple of videos that were pretty depressing. Well, not depressing, but like kind of sad of what's happening in the Pokemon community that I just found out, which happened like six months ago. But yeah, I will not go into more further detail about that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay hungry, boys, and I'll see you on episode two of this amazing start off Pokemon Fire Red Omega Chestlock. Peace out, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh.